Hey, what is going on? It is your guy Mal Moves here coming to you with another Duke Succulus tutorial guide. This one we're going to be doing a range only guide for those people who are struggling to kill it with 50 attack or 60 attack. I don't think you really should have too many problems if you're higher attack than that. But without a further ado, let's jump straight into it. Now, something I really like to do is go here and use the mushroom tech. So basically, you will just pick a mushroom all the way up into about 40 of them 46 just to be safe or 48 to be safe and then just cross back if you don't have a pestle and mortar like you saw you can just grab it from the wall and then you'll just force feed him these mushrooms wake him up from his sleep Now we're bringing the web weaver so we can get a guaranteed poison. If you saw my last video, I did do it with the Kyrus, but this is just an alternative way to guarantee the poison off the bat and not having to really suffer any DPS of using the Kyrus. Granted, I do appreciate the Kyrus and I think I maxed like 27, maybe even 28, and it seems to hit relatively often. So as you finish feeding it, get everything up I'm out here thinking that this is PvP so we're gonna go ahead web weaver spec maybe it specs get it poisoned instantly I don't remember but from now on basically we just try to look for those those ruby bolt procs for the early part of the fight run all the way across eventually you will have the ability to attack mid running across it's really important that you try to just get everyone got a ruby bolt proc there chopped it down to 294 real quick and the zebo has an accelerated chance of having the enchanted bolts proc um, it's the only bow out of the crossbows that increases the chance of the procs happening which is why a lot of people do tend to use this bow when it comes to harder monsters to get pbs and such so the cool thing about bosses is you do have the ability to shift click and attack straight through them so if you find yourself misclicking as you're attacking through just attack shift click attack shift click and just like that we're going to switch over to emerald to the diamond bolts e and then we're going to finish the rest of this 200 hp don't be a goofball use your thralls you want as much dps as possible and now you just sit here and basically rinse repeat and um, I would suggest a divine range potion over a regular range potion that way you do just constantly keep your max range because this boss does have a relatively annoying defense level and you just don't want to miss the opportunity of having the highest skills as fighting it even at 99 range as a pure my range boosting armor isn't the most so I do struggle to hit more often than maybe if I had Missouri but we are here and with only six 164 HP left this kill should be in the bag as long as I do not get hit by the eye we got a proc we hit a 21 proc again we hit a 40 And again, just hitting that shift to attack and run through. Again, try to keep your thralls up at every time. There is a thrall counter if you ever need it. That will give you a, um, a notification if you need to summon another thrall. I don't use it. I just see it disappear and I'm like, oh, 
I wonder if you disappeared for a while. Let's hope not. I'll just do it. Another 40. And we can one tap it with one more hit. Twenty-five, and if we could just hit this four, boom! The thrall with the damage, we get rune javelins, and just like that, that is a Duke Succulus explainer video with range. Now, if you do not want to use this because I didn't actually get the poison, you are more than welcome to take other opportunities, such as Emerald Bolts E, which when they proc gives an instant poison damage and I do believe with the Zebo it does a six tick damage instead of a five tick damage as normal so yeah go out there go get your Duke kills don't let your restricted builds of lower attack be the reason that you can't boss if there's a will there's a way and this is Mal moves checking in and checking out I'll see you guys next time if you want to see my crossbow tech with a Vardorvis, let's get this to 20 likes and 5 comments, and I'd be more than happy to do it for you. Peace.